All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And it is uh, July 24th. Very cool. And it's 84 degrees and sunny. Just coming off of a week of uh, vacation. And I'm out at the New World, as promised. But I'm not on my server because, where am I? I am out at the, um, oh, the Frank Lloyd Wright adaptation. We are going to check out a new area that we're going to start. There's a library. Cool. So how's everybody doing out there? Excellent. Got to wait for the green light. There we go. And... I like this, this is all on 5.7, um, so we have all the shadows and everything, zooming through the lights, cool, all right, I still haven't moved these traffic lights, there's a reason why I'm down here, cool, it does need people, I had people um, comment that... You know, it looks like a ghost town. Get some people in there. How's, how's fuel prices? Cool. Nice. So, we are coming down here. And this, this area down here. So, we have the auto shop. We have the mall and hotel. A big, huge mall. Very cool. A lot of the restaurants. Car detailing place. A bridge. This area was completely constructed before. There's a railway bridge underneath, a polar bear. We have the secret evil uh, empire over here. Nice. And it goes into the downtown area. You see the shadows. I haven't done anything with that building yet either. So it always bothered me, this space over here. So what we have done is I completely gutted this area out. And we are going to put an industrial park in here. So over here, this is what we're going to work on today, this place right here. And instead of taking out all the mountains and making it into, um, oop, I went too far. I went too far. Instead of um, flattening the entire area and then working on it afterwards, what I am going to do is is kind of kind of meld it in. So this is going to be the later half. And there's a another bear, a panda, as it goes down to the water. Oh look, a camel. How nice. So this is all going to be blended in. That's the word I was looking for. And then you have jungle trees over here, which I can expand. So you got, right now we have this huge parking lot. And we're going to put a bunch of buildings here to make it look better. So that's the goal. So trucks will be able to come in here. Now they gave everybody motion sickness. And you're, you're going to have a bunch of businesses I'm not going to put anything on this line. I'm going to make like a retaining wall. But over here, this is where we're going to put a small warehouse here. So, real quickly, um, got a couple cool comments. Uh, Joe Enderman says, it seems like you're missing textures. When I start up the game, you'll see up at the upper left-hand corner, it'll say texture missing. Those are from the inventory. So if it doesn't find a texture, it'll cry about it, but then it'll, like, put a generic texture in, which is cool, I guess. I got to I gotta work on that. There's a couple mods that complain about um, glass textures. And um, Little Miss Brooks, 3708, love your videos, new sub, thanks for the video, 
and we love all the detail mods that bring to the game. I am new to the game and just trying to learn how to play. So there's some great resources. We have the mind test, the Reddit mind test. Um, that's a great resource. Um, the actual mind test website and forums. And there's other uh, video makers. Um, Waza64, um, mind test videos, myself, a couple other people that delve into that and find some great, um, great content. So what you're, what you're going to want to do though, is just, um, make a couple experimental worlds and add some mods and find the mods that you like and go from there. So what we're going to look for here is Here's white baked clay. I think I can cut that. Yes, I can, which that's going to be important because there's a couple buildings where I around the area where I work in an industrial park that um, they kind of, uh, I want to go here. That I take that I'm taking some inspiration from. So how far do I want to go out? Yeah, we'll go this far. And let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. You know what we're going to do? We're going to move this. Now I could do it the hard way, but we're just going to move this by two. Because, boom, the reason is I'm going to put parking spaces here. So as you kind of surmised by now, this is going to be a, a talking and playing video. There we go. That looks nice. Everything is Everything is great. So now we need to go. Usually. Yeah, it'll work. That will work. Hmm. So the building is going to have. See how that looks. So one, two for the door. Yeah, it'll work. So can't put anything in there. There's gonna be a reason. There's some there's a really cool um the sort of backdrop from the building. It seems like every building in the um, in this industrial park has a what the has a freaky design to it. So, oh, I wanted to go up here. So it has kind of an angular front. And I'll show you. In a, I'll show you in a minute. I don't really. How high did I go? It would have made sense. Seven. Cool. And that worked. Hmm. Every every building has kind of a, an angular design to it. And it sort of looks, it looks good, but it, um, it makes some challenges. And I've built buildings like this in the past, the octagon building. So what we're doing here 
And this is just going to be a small warehouse with maybe a little bit of manufacturing just to just to kind of um I don't know. I'm winging it as I go. I might actually end up scrapping the entire building. I don't like to do that though. I like to build stuff and then make it fit. So we have that there. But what we're going to do over here, now the top part of the building does come out. So there is that. But the front part where the people come in, it actually angles. So we are going to try that. That's why I needed the the circular saw. So Simba, uh, Simbicon had wrote in about the um, two mods, Nautilus and um, Warehouse Assets. And I started using the one. And they, they're strange. Nautilus is kind of cool, but it has it has some flaws to it. So we're going to look at that. Um, not in this video. Because I need to set some of the... Uh, configurations. So let's see how we can do this here. So... We want... That's got to go. But I want to see how we come back here. It's really strange, too, how, how the, this building... So we can do something like that. But you see, that's off. Actually, that's right on. Okay, so let us do this. Now, the front part here, though, is going to be glass. There's going to be two doors. So we can get rid of these and put doors in. And then we can... Do this. Well, that didn't work. So now we have one, two, a door, one, two. And I don't think... Yeah, that's going to limit. Because doors are going to go in here and just be on the safe side. Um, let's look at our, our glass here. Baked clay, what? Oh, nice. What is that? And a pole. Get rid of the stick. Let's see. One, two. That's what I want. I need a door. Because I need the uh, glass doors. Those aren't the right ones. Let's see. Yes, they are. Hmm. So if we put that there, and we put that one... No. Oh. Duh. Which one was that? That was left. We need a right door. There we go. There's our doors. Cool. But that leaves one. One, two, one, two, three. How did I mess that up? Huh.
Because I want windows. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Unless I get rid of one door. Okay, that'll work. Now I'm in the center. One, two, one, two, one. I guess. I don't know. So, usually I wouldn't be putting in windows this early, but there's a reason. So, we have that. And then this is going to come up like this. That's fine. That is fine. So, let us duplicate this. Cool. And I like adding, um, what do you call it? I like adding uh, things. That didn't work out too well, now did it? There we go. Oh, I only took one. So we have four, five, and then the top one is going to be a frame. Cool. Cool. Uh, getting back to the uh, warehouse, I, I have to go in and adjust the configuration, but it had some really strange effects, and I'm not particularly digging it too much. So we will have to see. Now here's going to be... A little strange. And these industrial park buildings, I think what I can get away with here is something like this. But what everybody gets to see is, um, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Is it? Oh, duh. There's a reason why for that. And that is the reason. I know I'm giving everybody motion sickness, but um, you'll see when it's all done. So we come over here, we're going to add... And that's going to make it nice and flush, which is what I want. Come on. There we go. So we're trying to make it, we're trying to make it artsy. Very nice. I, <laughs> there is a pole, though, in... Let's see how that looks compared to the real building. Yeah, it looks all right. And this is all this is all full. So the roof, we're going to do something special with the roof here. But you come in, there you go. Nice. So at least we'll have the at least we'll have the building down. And then there's windows that are going to go all the way across. So what do we have left here? One, two, three, six. I usually don't like an odd number, but we're going to have to deal with it. And I'm going to do something creative on the, on the roof here. So we have four. And what we can do now is go in here. I want clear glass. Do I want panes or clear glass? Don't know. We want 
clear. Now, you know what? You know what? It helps if you choose the right. There. These are just easier to work with. So we are going to. Put those in. There's a giraffe. That's nice. I don't like. I don't like that. We're going to get rid of that. So we have that. Now over here. We're going to do similar. And I wanted to put a blue. Um, hue in. So these are all. These are all going to, this is all going to be glass, but how much glass? So we go five, we need some loading doors. So let's come over here. One, two, three. I can do that five and then so this is going to be like the uh, the loading I should do one more let's see how this looks we have offices and we have two loading doors and then the rest of this is going to be glass that'll work we're going to do it the easy way. One, two, three, four. And stack that by four. I don't know. It's, it, we're just, like I said, we're just building and. Now you see that looks goofy now, don't it? And the reason why it does is the. It's because I came one down. No problem. All right, that's nine. So we have nine and five. And over here, we want big trucks. But we're going to continue this because this upper row is going to be decorative now i was thinking about a blue line through here which would be one two three one two three one two we're going to see how that looks now we need to come up with a door hmm. because these are huge these are huge the roof is just going to be a plain roof so we have some artistic, we have some office area that's going to go in there, some some buildings. I could cut this out, but that'll be for another one. What do we want for garage doors? We're gonna make we're gonna make some cool uh, some cool garage doors. So let's go. One of the things that I have, we want a texture, metal roof. I want to see what that looks like. But it's also got to be something I can cut. See, I want to use, I want to use something like this, this crown molding. Ooh, that's an idea. It's an outer corner. And then that. I like that color. But there's another one, dark gray. I think... What we'll do is we'll we'll try this too. So one of my ideas is gonna be that flat. Let's see, can I make this? Ooh, I can. I can do that. Let's copy that. One of the one of the cool things about this is to oh you but it that would look cool. Let's see. We're, 
we're probably going to use that for the roofing, but gray stained wood. We're looking for something that looks cool. There was another gray. That's the one I'm looking for. Because that has, oh, it's dark gray, dark gray wood. That looks cool too. And then fabric. We got a load of stuff that we can actually use. I want to check that out too. Because this, let's see here. How would that look? That looks so cool, except for um, there's a problem with it glitching. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We know this will work. Let's get rid of this. Am I... What was that? Dark gray decorative slab. Where'd it go? All right, whatever. Turn this. We want it like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our own garage door here. Now I could have done that. So what we need to do, oh, I can put some windows in there. I like that. Yes, I know. It, it, somebody's going to comment. Uh oh. Oh. Somebody's going to comment about you only use gray. And the, the intent was to use blue for the, for like the stripe. We, we shall see. But what I'm trying to do now is just trying to get a building up and the structure up. You know what I want is I want to get rid of that because what we also need to do, this doesn't matter because this is going to be the interior. That's what I wanted. Cool. That looks a lot cleaner. So now we have our garage doors. We have this. So what's going to happen on those garage doors is I'm going to do a thing called... Um, I'm going to put in... Um, what do you call it? You know what I might have to do? I might have to go down one. Is that a full block? Because it looks kind of goofy. Yeah. Yeah. I might have to... Oh, that won't work. Oh. Oh. I know what. There's a reason why there. So now I can add.
Okay, that's going to have to be a full block. Did I just screw up my... Oh, okay. So these back here are going to have to be full blocks. And then here, there. But I'm wondering... Oh, duh. Because this is going to... Take that all the way down. There we go. All right, so now it looks now it looks even, and then we're gonna do we're gonna do going to do roofing. We're gonna take this sheet metal roof to get rid of some stuff here. We're gonna see how we can actually pull this off. I don't really want. I didn't want. Um, I wanted to put the roof on yet. There's a reason why. There's a scaffolding. And that's not what I want. I want. Um, Oh, it's similar to that, but it's metal. Scaffold. Um, is it the truss? There it is. Truss. But there's a silver one. Let's see if we can find a support. There it is. Steel support. There's, uh, there's a reason. So the one looks shiny and the one doesn't. There's that one and there's that one. I like that one. So what we're going to do is... We have... Let's see how high it's going to go. I, I guess. We're going to stack this. And we're going to stack it by 10. Cool. And then we can stack this by 12. Boom. Cool. Very nice. This is just going to add some dimension, I guess. There, nice. Especially over here in the warehouse side. But I'm trying to also gauge 
how high um, or where I want to put the roof. So this is all going to equal that. So the roof is going to go on top of that. Very nice. And then we will, I want to get this part done because then this is going to be office over here. I might have to go in one more. Actually, that'll work. To create the office wall. Oh, perfect. So what we can do is here. I'm going to leave. I think I'll leave the roof off. For right now because I want this to go all the way to the top all right doesn't matter but back here is going to be offices So we'll do some more glass windows. And then next week we shall, let's see, truss, put that over here. Gonna move stuff around. Let's get the windows in and call it a, call it a day. I don't know how long we've been recording for. Hmm. Just kind of lose track. I like using these windows because of the, um, they sit in the middle. And there's a lot of different ways you can, you can get that effect. Oh, there's a fox. Nice. I really don't know. You know what we're going to play with here? I'm wondering, because I want to do something up on the roof, too. We have... Oh, so I, I wonder if I could have... We'll check that out in a second. Sighting. I'm wondering if we could have done something differently. So what I want to do here, there's going to be, oh, I don't like that. I like that. Because remember, placement is everything. Every little detail, every little detail counts. So what did we do on the last one here? Stack, eh, go 12. And then we want to go to it, to here. And add 11. Boom. So we have this. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to um figure out this. Not like it's hard to do. Now here's where it's gonna get interesting. So if we take here, here, I can live with that. We're going to have to make some sort of con concession. I could follow that all the way across. And, 
you know, go all the way down there. All right, so we have the roof in. Because actually, in real life, that roof does go. So let's look at that, how we can um, do that. Actually, that looks really cool. All right, so we have we have a good roof. Not bad. Not good. Not um. Not bad though. For first try. So what we're going to do? We're going to take a screenshot. There we go, because you, you're going to be able to come up to this building. It's got this nice decorative touch here. You come on in. We'll have offices over here, and then we'll have like a R&D center over here, and then we have the manufacturing and trucking. Nice. And we'll be able to put these trusses uh, across. Let's just check out one other closed door. One other thing thing I want to see how this is going to look so if we take this might not even look good and the next building will actually be the next building will actually be will actually be different colors. I'm going to put in, there's a building that I came across and it's a just a plain white building that um, it's a plain white building, but it has a, it has a blue stripe and it really sets the building off. So we're going to play with that. And what we're going to do here is... Uh, there we go. We're going to follow this all the way around the building. And this is just, going to, this is just adding ornamental. It doesn't add anything. I could actually do stuff with the roof now. And we're, we're going to decorate this with, like, air conditioning systems and stuff that you would normally find on a business roof. Cool. Put that there. I love these, this facade mod. And these blocks were actually made for me. It's the RGS. RGS Pro block so look up uh, facade mm -hmm. can't see my keyboard there we go and if you notice my keyboard everything kind of still works that looks pretty cool not gonna lie we have we have depth we have, um, and that means I got to take another screenshot. Mm, that's okay. What, um, what I like, oh, I wanted to check that out, but I need to get to there. What we, what we like to do is, there we go. What we like, what I like to do is, that's a screenshot. Or is it? Cool. There you have it. There's a building. That's even better. Okay. So there you go. There you have it. What we have is a real cool... Real cool building with some added dimensions and stuff. We're going to put some lighting in. Uh, we're going to dig out the interior. This is the first part of the industrial park. 
So people will come in, and then next is going to be another building over here and a couple more buildings back here. And we have we have windows. We could put employee patios out here. We can, e we can even expand it. All right. So that is going to do it for that. Get out of my way, Mr. Polar Bear. We are going to fly home just because, you know what? I haven't spent any time out here. <laughs> I just caught myself on how stupid that sounded. Look at that home. Yeah, but let's, let's check this one out. Yeah, I've been in all the other ones. And... I just, it, it, it's stupid, but I like spending, or I like uh, hanging out at different creations after I build them. So we can relax in the pool, but what we're going to do here is go upstairs, we got a fire going, go, got trees, and we're just going to hang out here. There we go. All right. I'm going to leave you with this uh, cool view here. Got computers. Nice. And um, until the next episode, thank you for joining. And uh, 